skyscraper window cleaners, what is the most bizarre thing you've ever seen? Once while cleaning a high-rise apartment, an old lady kindly asked me if I was hungry and proceeded to open her window and hand me a pizza slice. So I sat there, 27 stories up, tangling on my chair and eating pizza. It was a good day. Something I'm blown away by when I'm on ropes is how many people feel guilty about not working when I'm around. When you look into people's workstations you can see that almost no one works, most people are on Facebook, YouTube or on news sites. But the second they notice me outside the window they quickly switch to an Excel spreadsheet. Like they think I'm some kind of productivity spy about to rat them out to management. Keep cruising the internet people, don't mind me. And also, pointing to the window and saying you missed a spot, isn't funny. Duck you. I used to live in a high-rise condo. Sometimes the window cleaners go up the side of the building where my small bathroom window is. One Saturday morning after a crazy night out, I ended up needing to take a really spicy beer shit. So I opened up the window and sat down on my toilet, hungover, with my eyes closed thinking about where I went wrong in my life choices that lead me to this moment where death seemed like a reasonable alternative. Then I hear my window close. Apparently the window cleaner needed to close it to go up higher. Cue the slow ascent of their window elevator thing, they saw me destroying my toilet. We made eye contact and I gave him the universal nod of understanding. He gave me one back and continued his slow ascent upwards at like an inch a second. I've been a rope access window cleaner for a couple years and have seen my fair share of weirdness. A couple incidents that stick out are, a young couple having fun that invited me to join. An apartment in a ritzy building completely empty other than a table with several sheets of freshly printed, uncut $100 bills a real ass mummy sarcophagus. Been offered several joint hits and various adult beverages while hanging off the side of a building. Animals were always my favorite though. Cats and puppies lose their minds seeing you outside their window and will happily chase your mop and squeegee while you work. Always brighten the day. Not a skyscraper window washer but was a janitor who had to wash the windows in a six-story building as part of my job so I used a mix of ladders and rappelling down from the roof with a harness to clean the outside windows. One day I was washing the outside windows on the executive floor where all the bosses and higher-up employees had their offices. I was done with one window so I moved to the next window and looked in and saw the CEO of the company snorting something in his office with the door locked and the lights off. He looked up and saw me in the window and we made an uncomfortable eye contact for about 15 seconds then I just pretended I saw nothing and kept washing the windows. Never spoke a word about it to him or anyone in the office but the last day I worked there he gave me a farewell card with 200 bucks in it and a free solar powered portable phone charger that the company produced and sold. I once had a bookcase collapse on me in my office, as I was laying on the floor under a pile of books and shelves I heard a knock. There was a window cleaner at the window trying not to laugh and asking if I was okay. Friend was fresh out of the shower sitting at her computer desk naked when the window cleaners were at her place. She heard a noise so she turned around to see two men outside her third story window. So she screams and runs into the bathroom to hide. Later she calls the building management to complain and they tell her that a notice went out and she must not have seen it. Then building management decided to ask the window cleaning service to send those guys to her apartment to knock on the door and apologize to her. Hilariously awkward. I am not a window cleaner, but a paramedic. We got a call once to a suicidal window cleaner guy once. We could see what was going on as we approached. He was swinging around and doing tricks in between each wipe of the window. Like giant swinging leaps and who knows what else. The police had him come down and asked him what he was doing and he said he just really loves his job. So we told him he needs to be safe and left him to go back to work. One time in college I answered a help wanted ad for a window cleaner. I thought it was going to be one of these high-rise jobs. Instead when I showed up the interview it was some methy looking guy in a parking lot. I spent the day with him going from house to house cleaning people's windows. He told me to pretend I was his nephew and he kept introducing me to customers that way. Then when we were cleaning windows he kept telling me his fantasies of ducking the housewives. It was super weird. Plus, he chewed tobacco and while driving would spit the juice between his legs onto the floor of his ratty truck. Then at the end of the day he told me it was just an audition and tried not to pay me. One of the strangest days of my life.
Not me but my uncle has been doing it for years and had many weird encounters, but this one is kinda sad. Having changed companies he started at this new apartment building. Near the top there was this old lady with a dog, the dog was young enough and was always excited to see him. Eventually he started talking to this woman when he was working through a small window, they became somewhat friends. Then one day almost a year on the job he went up and for the first time the apartment was empty except for the dog, which he found odd, so when he was finished up he tried to check and see if she was in but got no reply. A day later a member of staff from the apartment block, I think it was the landlord but can't remember, got back to him and told him that she passed away, and that she had no family. Assuming that my uncle knew her the landlord asked about the dog, seeing if there was anything that could be done. My uncle being the kind fella he was, took the dog. Nearly 10 years later my uncle still has the dog, a little terrier named Pumpkin. Not a window cleaner but to have a couple of stories. My parents were having the windows changed one day, and didn't warn me, so I went to bed nude, it was summer and British houses aren't designed for heat, woke up the next morning to scaffolding being put up. Luckily my bed was hidden so they couldn't see me, but I had to hide in the corner of my bed and text my mum to get some clothes for me to wear. A guy I briefly dated told me the story of the time his parents forgot to tell him they were having their windows cleaned. His entire family went out for the day so he decided to whack one out, nude, with his blinds open. Just as he's on the edge he looks up and sees a very uncomfortable man at his window trying to clean it. I am not a window washer, but I have seen them outside of my son's hospital room, dressed as superheroes. My son was in the hospital and after I spent the night there with him. I went home to shower and do a few things around the house and probably get a proper night's sleep. The next morning I was reading the newspaper and read an article about superhero window washers visiting a children's hospital in Pittsburgh. When I went back down to the hospital I was planning to see if the hospital's administration had seen the article. I guess someone had because before I go the chance to speak to someone, Spider-Man and Superman were outside our 10th floor room. Not a skyscraper cleaner but the person on the other side of the window. I was using a single occupancy restroom on the 22nd floor of a building that had a floor-to-ceiling glass window along the side of the toilet. Weird, I know. Anyways I'm taking a wicked crap, and I was wearing a romper, so sitting there in just a bra, with my romper around my ankles, shitting my little heart out. I saw the window washer and was a little startled but thought the windows were tinted it was fine. Alas, we accidentally made eye contact as I was standing up to wipe my ass. Clearly tinting does not work up close. Opposite side of spectrum, anytime the cleaners went by we put the weirdest porn we could find up on our giant ducking TV. We would just casually sit there and watch pterodactyls bang some chick, as if we were watching the news. Hopefully, it was weird for them. I was once cleaning a skyscraper where I know nearly everyone that works there. I saw a job interviewer having sex with another guy probably someone he interviewed. The interviewer, who is straight, married and has kids gave me $500 not to tell anyone. Easiest money I ever made. Well. I was washing the outside of the windows at the group home I work at. I walk up to one of my dude's bedroom windows to wash it off and apparently he hears me outside somehow even though he had his radio turned up to about 9 ducking thousand, like he always does. He rips up his blinds, totes naked and starts slapping himself repeatedly in the forehead and screaming. This was pretty normal for him, but it's definitely the strangest thing I've ever seen so far in my life while washing a window.